Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to make these cute resin metal pendants like these. And if you've seen my last um, craft update, then these were in those videos. Of course, a video will display towards the end of the um, end of this video, so you can easily click on it to view that craft update. So here's just examples of what I made and this little one. So that is what we will be to, we'll be doing today. So what you will need is bezel pendants. You can eat, use any type you want. I got heart and I got the oval ones. These are available on my website for a dollar and these are 75 cents a piece. And I will put the links in the description box below. You will need a necklace to add your pendant on. Of course, these are available too for 99 cents or a dollar. <laughs> and I will put a link to that also in the description box below and today we'll be using this resin this is let me tilt my camera up so you can actually see this is jewelry resin so this will be my first time actually using the jewelry resin but I have used their other brand of resin okay and also these are available on my website and it's a kit, so you get the two hardeners, you get two cups, and you get the wooden spoons to stir everything with. Okay. And you will need some cute stickers. So these are the ones that I have. Mamaguma, Rilakuma, and my Melody. Um, you can use glitter. And I will be using white nail polish for the background instead of using white resin and I will use a heat gun to um, help it dry quicker so let's get started so I have opened up the package and this is everything that you get in the kit you get these two here and these are two ounces you get these two cups you get these to put this on here to make it easier and you get these two wooden sticks now for what I'm doing, I'm going to do, I probably end up using this entire bottle, but first I'm going to put that to the side and I'm going to put my first layer of coating on here. And again, I want mine to be white, so I'm just going to use some plain white nail polish and I'm just going to coat it. And also you can use glitter, you can add glitter to the nail polish to make it glittery. So again, I'm just going to paint it on here. And you probably can use acrylic paint also, but I don't have any. Very simple. And sorry if the quality is bad, but it shouldn't be. But I am using my phone to record instead of my camera because it's just easier to upload a video. Okay, so what I'm going to do is finish coating my um, bezels, then come back. Okay, so now I have finished um, painting the insides and I um, actually use my heat gun to speed up the process as you can see this one has a little to a holographic um, nail polish and I just use this one here and then the rest are just white so now what I like to do normally is plan out how I want to lay out my stickers and I like the fact that these are clear so you just easily see if it fits. But of course, I don't want to put that one on a white background. So yeah, you can also paint it pink if you want to. You can use what color nail polish you want. So I have my Melody. Let's see. What would be cute in there? Just to see if it actually fits. So that might work. 
And of course, we got real Akuma. So I think I'm going to use that one. Let's see. Maybe that one. Okay, so I got an idea of what I want to use. So now it's time to mix your resin. And again, this is jewelry resin, so I'm pretty sure you can use just regular resin if you wanted to. But I'm just going to use the jewelry resin. This one actually smells like um, citrus, fruit citrus or whatever. So, you, you, you would pour in equal amounts like you would do with normal resin. Put the top on. Again, I'm already now I'm end up using most of it, but just for the sake of the video, just going to pour in one tablespoon. I don't know. I'm not sure if you can actually see that line right there. And it says one tablespoon. Okay. Now for this. Now it's another line that says two tablespoons. So I'm just going to fill it up to there. Instead of using both of my cups because there's really no need to. So now I'm just going to mix these two together and I'm just going to mix it slow and of course when you first start mixing you will see little streaks and then it will get cloudy and then it will get turned back clear. Once it starts turning clear that's when you know your resin is ready to be used. Normally I stir it for at least a minute. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and mix this up and then come back. So I'm finished mixing my resin. As you can see, it has turned clear. And I also, what I did was went um, and blew dry with my um, heat gun to actually heat it up a little bit. And it's good to actually put these in a little warm water before you actually start mixing it. And then that way, you will have less bubbles and it will mix better. So as you can see, I still have little bubbles here, but I'm just going to put this to the side and grab my pieces and start laying the stickers in here. So for the two pendants, I want to do a real Akuma one. So I'm just going to grab the sticker and just put place it on here where I want it. And that's it. And just press it down. Super easy to do, right? So for this one, let's see what I want to use. I guess I can use another Rilakkuma piece. Let's see, I could make a Karilakkuma one. I'm just going to make another Rilakkuma piece. And I'm just going to put it in here. Like so. Okay, and the sun is going down, so I need to hurry up. And you actually could go ahead and start trying to add more little things like rhinestones. But normally I wait till, I, until my resin actually get a little sticky before I start that. I'm just going to add this little bowl here. And what else can I add? 
probably about it. So put those to the side. Get my smaller hearts. So let's see. Let's add the my melody. Now which one? That is the question. Now, I don't want this video to be too long, so let me hurry up. Okay, let's put her in the middle. Like that. And then you just pour your resin on top. Super easy to do. I'm just going to slant this one a little bit. So I actually put another one. So there you have it. So let's go ahead and start pouring the resin on here. So what I'm going to do is use my, my wooden stick and just press this down some more make sure you have it pressed down real nice don't need any air bubbles I'm just gonna slightly put it on here And you're just going to fill it up with resin. And once you have done that, you will just let it sit for 24 to 48 hours. Unless you want to actually embed some um, rhinestones in it, then you can wait till it's tacky. And then add the rhinestones. So that's really about it. So I hope you guys like this video. Again, all of the supplies that I use in this video, I will just put links in the description. Description box below. Because everything I think I use in this video is actually on my website. Even the nail polish. <laughs> so yeah. I'm going to finish up with my pieces. Of course, you can go and add some glitter on here and all of that. But I'm going to finish up. And again, I hope you guys like my video. If you want to see my last, my yeah, my last craft update featuring the little twin star pieces, the video should pop up around now. You can just easily click on it. As you can see here, I embedded some rhinestones on here. Super cute and super fun. So yeah, that is all. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.